Hey, what's up? It's Martin and in today's video I want to share with you the whole story of how I became a software developer and actually a self-taught uh, software developer and I got a job in six months and this video is not going to be scripted it's just going to be me sharing my story to you and hopefully I can relate to someone who is starting a, a software development job or is already in the journey to become a software developer so I hope you will enjoy this video and I think I will start uh, the time when I came to London, which is already seven years ago. And I moved to London to get a new experience, uh, learn English because I didn't know anything. And I landed a job in coffee shop. So I worked in a coffee shop for two years, actually, a really long time. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I had a really great time. I uh, met so many people and uh, I learned English this time to the point where I can actually communicate with people. And after two years, I got a job in the finance industry, which was selling uh, mortgages, uh, meeting clients and traveling a lot in the UK, which was absolutely amazing, completely different than my previous job in hospitality when I had to visit the same coffee shop every single day. But uh, it was great, really great time. Uh, I learned a lot in this job. Don't regret anything. Um, really good experience. Our experiences are uh, again during the four years. But um, after, I think it was like after three years, uh, I stopped learning. And that was the one main issue that I had that I didn't really progress anymore with my life. And I wanted to have a new, new challenge. And I remember this person uh, who came to me uh, when I was working in the cafe and I had a chat with this guy and he told me he's a, a programmer and he learned it by himself. Uh, he was uh, building an uh, iOS application with Swift and he said to me, hey, you should try it. There is like big demand for developers. Uh, the, the, you know, there is a lot of people who want to build uh, web applications or applications to your phone and I was that I'm not really interested uh, becoming a software developer but I was amazed uh, that someone who doesn't have any university degree or uh, didn't go to any like I don't know a boot camp uh, can have a job you know which was really amazing and after three years working in the finance, uh, I was thinking what I can do and I remember I built a couple of websites for my friends with WordPress. Uh, I use a little bit of HTML and CSS but not that much and I really enjoy it. So I was thinking, hey, I remember this guy, I remember what he told me and he had, he had a lot of time, a lot of freedom. Uh, he was traveling a lot uh, because he was working remotely all the time. And it's something that resonates with me. So I went on the, on the internet and I just typed how I became a software developer. And I started to learn HTML, CSS. I went to a Free Code Academy and basically I completed the whole first section uh, that is for a front-end developer. Then uh, I bought a couple of courses on Udemy, a couple of courses on Skillshare. Uh, I learned a lot from YouTube as well. This time uh, I came across this platform which is called uh, Team Treehouse, which is absolutely amazing platform. Uh, helped me dramatically with my journey because what I was doing most of the time, I was jumping, okay, I will go to YouTube and then I will go to Free Code Academy and then I will go to Udemy. So I was jumping to too many places and uh, Team Treehouse has everything in one place which literally like saved me so much time and I would highly recommend for everybody who wants to try it. Also, uh, this time I built a couple of projects with HTML and CSS and uh, I felt really confident. Uh, then I went to JavaScript, which was pretty difficult to be honest um, because JavaScript is obviously a programming language which uh, HTML and CSS is not. So I remember I bought this course on Udemy about JavaScript and I had to go through it like three or four times and I didn't remember anything. That was pretty, pretty difficult to be honest. Um, also, 
if I can give you any advice on learning programming is not to stay on tutorials for a long time. And it was one of my biggest mistakes that I've done because I was just watching tutorials and building projects based on the tutorials, kind of. I was just following along and I would do it completely differently now. Now I would buy a course on Udemy, I would go through it once and then I would build my own project or project. Maybe a little bit similar as on Udemy that you, you were building before, I would add something on it or change it and that will help you drastically. Just start building projects on your own and don't follow tutorials and if you get stuck just go on Google because that's kind of how it's gonna be. You know, if you get stuck, you will go to Google and you find a solution in there. So this time it was like four months me learning programming after work. So basically I had a full-time job. I was coming home really late and I didn't have any choice. You know, um, I had to put the time, otherwise I wouldn't learn it. And I will tell you it was pretty, pretty difficult. You know, coming, working 10 hours a day, 10 full hours being completely like drained and then come home and start learning really difficult stuff like JavaScript. Yeah, it was it was pretty tough time to be honest. Uh, one of the most difficult thing I ever done. And uh, if you are in the same journey and you are struggling, you know, you just need to go through it like everybody was in there. And, you know, you will face the times that you just want to give up and uh, I had this time when I wanted to give up so many times. I wanted to give up like every week, you know, because I, and then every weekend as well. I had to put time during the weekend, you know, sacrifice time going out when it's sunny, which is not too many times in sunny in London. And yeah, that's it's going to be a really hard period. But once you go through it, it's going to be worth it. I built around four projects and um, I use Gatsby, which is a, a JavaScript framework and I built a portfolio, kind of like a holder where I can add my projects in, in, into it, which is amazing. It's super simple to set it up and I've got a video just out here if you are interested. And um, yeah, so I added my projects to my portfolio and I was ready to apply for a job. But then I realized I don't have my CV, I don't have resume. So what am I gonna do? And I was thinking actually, how am I gonna build my resume if I don't have any experience? I never worked in programming job and I don't have any university as a programmer. Also, I didn't go to any bootcamp. So what am I gonna put in there? So first word was to add my jobs, my previous jobs, and then just add a section that I'm I'm changing my career, right? But I sent I remember I sent few CVs, but nothing came through. So I just went on YouTube and I Google a, a CV for programmers with no experience, and a lot of people recommended to add your previous projects or your projects you are building on. So I've done it. I sent every single day around 10 to 20 CVs in London and literally like didn't get any reply back. Um, I just received a few calls from recruiters. Um, they told me that I don't have enough experience, obviously. They didn't lie, I didn't have any experience. And yes, I didn't really know what to do anymore because uh, I think this time I started to learn um, React, which is a JavaScript framework. I started to build a couple of projects, which I still added to my portfolio. I was still applying for jobs in London, but with no success. So this time I was like, what am I going to do? I know that there is a big competition in this city. Uh, everybody has uh, way more experience than I do. So let's go outside. Let's start applying outside uh, of the big city. So I've done it. I send a lot of CVs as well um, outside of the London area and I got two interviews and they sent me uh, each of the companies send me a test project to build. So how it works, you most of the time receive a project 
uh, that is like a single page application they will send you a sketch file which is like a design that you need to follow along and you need to make it exactly how it is on the design uh, basically like a pixel perfect and i've done it i sent it back and i got offers from those, these two companies and i decided to go for the one offer that was closer to london so i can commute to london um, visit my girlfriend during the weekend and yeah that's that was my journey um, i was in that job for a year um, then i learned a lot like your learning will escalate like 100 times if you are learning at the job so suddenly you become very good with stuff that you were really bad and yeah it's it's absolutely great and after one year of having experience as a developer um, once you're gonna be applying for the jobs suddenly you will see that recruiters gonna be reaching you out you will have a lot of test projects to build for companies a lot of interviews so the situation is completely different so guys um i hope you enjoyed this video and um share my story of how i became a software developer in six months and uh, if you are in the same journey please don't give up it's gonna be worth it and uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and i will see you next week take care